Hey friends, today we're going to be removing noise with Audacity. Audacity is a wave editor, and if you're a user of Ableton, Logic, so on and so forth, it's great to pair your DAW up with a wave editor. So you can do functions like cutting the beginning or the end of the waveform off, taking a look at your waveform, or in this case, removing noise. So let's just get started. If you listen to this audio, this is one of my favorite speakers, Alan Watts, and there's a lot of background noise in here. So let's just take a listen. He finds out that you, your behavior, is not something that can be separated from the behavior of the world around you. So you can hear that there's just like a, there's like a tape machine kind of whirring, and this is just kind of a lot of noise here. What you can do though is you can select an area. Basically what we're trying to do is train the software to, to know what part of this signal is noise, and what part of the signal is the type of the area that we want to keep. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a section of this audio that has noise in it, okay? And then we're going to go to the effect area and go to noise reduction, okay? So this is a two-step process. The first thing we wanna do is get a noise profile. This is what trains the software to know what part of the signal is noise. So I'm just gonna play this section right here and make sure that there's nothing in it that I wanna keep. So you heard someone was just turning a page there. Maybe we'll go over here. Okay, in that section, there wasn't anything. So you wanna get kind of a, you know, relatively sizable section, whatever encompasses all of the noise, right? So I'm gonna go back to effect, go down to noise reduction, and click get noise profile, okay? So then it snaps us out of there. And now I'm just gonna select an area just so that we can skip right over to what we wanna to listen to. Go back to the effect, noise reduction, and now we're gonna just hit preview so we can hear what the initial settings will do. Your behavior is not something that can be separated from the behavior of the world. So as you can see, that's pretty good. Now, as we turn the reduction down more and more, we're gonna be re reducing more and more of the noise profile section uh, of this audio, right? So let's listen. Your behavior is not something that can be separated from the behavior and as you can of the hear world. as you can hear it sounds warbly and strange right there's the more noise we remove from here the more we get these warbly sounds right so if you change the sensitivity setting it will allow more of the audio to pass through this filter okay let's listen to it now your behavior is not something that can be separated from the behavior of the So as you can see, the more the sensitivity is up, it's more sensitive to the frequency bands that it found in the noise. Now you can, let's say we leave it up and we, we wanna have all those artifacts in there. What you can also do is add more of these smoothing bands. What this will do is it will attempt to smooth out some of these artifacts that you hear, right? Your behavior is not something so there's some weird ones. Let's try to increase this smoothing bands and see what happens when we do that. Your behavior is not something that That's actually not too bad. Let's try to go even higher. Your behavior is not something that can be separated from the behavior. Now this is an extreme setting, okay? This is like way high. I would never have to, I mean, in, in, in a normal use case scenario, I've almost lost all of his syllabants, like the, the S's and the, the, the high-pitched material from his voice. So what I want to do is maybe back this off a little bit uh, and back the sensitivity off a little bit, and we'll probably get a pretty usable result. Your behavior is not something that can be separated from the behavior. That's perfect. So now when I hit OK, it will apply the effect to the audio. Now you can see, check this out, this is the noise we had before and this is the noise after, so I'm going to play it through. He finds out that you your behavior is not something that can be separated from the behavior of the world around you. Isn't that incredible? So, so there we go. Okay, so most of my channel viewers are Ableton users. So what I want to show you is how to tie Ableton in with Audacity. Okay, so what you want to do is if you click on any clip, you can see that there is a button that says edit. This will launch, it says launch sample editor. So when I hit edit, what will happen is is Audacity launches, right? So the way that you set this up is you go into your preferences and you go into file folder. 
And then under file folder, you'll see sample editor. Hit browse. And if you go to your applications, you will find your audio editor, whichever one you want to use. I happen to use um, Adobe Audition a lot, but in this case, we're going to select Audacity and hit open. So now it's set up. So now when you click on any of this audio and you hit edit, it will bring that audio up in Audacity. Okay? So this is a bird chirping. It's a lot of noise in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to select an area. We're going to go to Effect, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile, right? So we're selecting the area that doesn't have any of the audio that we want in it, right? It's just the, the background noise, okay? So now we're going to double click, select the whole thing, go to Effect, Noise Reduction, and we've got the noise profile already. So let's just try some modest settings here. Still a lot of that background noise in there, so I really want to pull that down. I'm going to go down all the way to 40, okay? And let's try it now. That's okay, but it kind of sounds like an alien bird. So let's try to use the frequency smoothing. That's okay. Maybe we'll change the sensitivity a little bit. Let's pull it down a little bit. Okay, so now that I've got this sound about where I want it, I'll hit OK, and it will apply the effect. Now you can see, you just see the bird chirping. So the next step, if you want this to seamlessly go into Ableton, is you have to understand kind of what Audacity is doing. This is destructive file editing once I get out of Audacity. And what that means is that once I save this file, I'm going to overwrite the original file. So that file will then appear in Ableton edited already. So once you're done, there's no going back. But that's not a big deal if you know what you're doing. So if I go to File, and I go to Export, I would go to Export as WAV. And the cool thing is that this audio has already named what it was before, so if I hit Save, it's just going to bring up an, an overwrite. See, a file named this has already existed. So I'm going to hit Yes, and now it's going to replace that audio. Okay. So now I'm going to exit out of Audacity. We're not going to save this project. It's, the project is different than the audio, just so you know. All right, so I'm going to hit No. And now watch this, it will repopulate the sample once it loads up. And as you can see, there it is. We've got our edited noiseless audio. Okay, so now let's, let's check out one more thing. And this is a sample that's going to be difficult to remove noise from, okay? So, so I just wanna kind of explain some more stuff. So I'm gonna select the top bar, I'm gonna hit edit. And let's just take a listen to this. So that's a lot of bright white noise, right? Let's listen to what the, what the audio actually is. This is an acoustic guitar. Now maybe some of you can guess already why this would be hard to remove noise from. The main reason is that this noise is very bright, and so is an acoustic guitar. They both have a lot of high frequency content in them. In this case, normally what I would say is you need to re-record the part but we can get kind of close. We can get close to removing some of this noise and maybe sort of glean out uh, a usable thing from this. So I'm gonna select this audio. I'm gonna go to edit. Well, let's go ahead and, and listen to make sure. There's a little slide there. So actually we wanna try to find a spot where it's just noise and there we go. So effect, noise reduction, get profile. Now we're gonna just select the acoustic part so we can listen to this. And let's go to noise reduction. And once again, we're going to start with some pretty modest areas. And we'll leave the frequency smoothing off. So let's listen. So already right off the bat, you can hear there's some weird garbly sounds. Let's turn the sensitivity down. OK, so we're getting somewhere. I'm going to turn the noise reduction down so we get less of the noise. So you can hear the whole system is struggling. It's struggling because the same frequencies that the guitar is making was in sort of the noise profile. So let's try to reduce the sense or increase the sensitivity and then increase these smoothing bands and see what we get. <laughs> we almost got it. See, we almost have a phaser now. Isn't that strange? So let's try to reduce sensitivity. 
Maybe a lot more frequency smoothing bands. And now in this case, because this is about the best I can do, I'm gonna have to increase the noise reduction or the noise level. Now, as you can see, that's sort of maybe kind of a useful level, but as you can see, this is just gonna be something that I would recommend just re-recording the part because there's just really no really good way to get the noise out of here. So again, but just so we know, let's just say this is a file that we're happy with the result. I would hit OK. It will apply the noise reduction. And to get it back into Ableton, remember, we go to Export. Export is Wave. The audio file is the same. So I'm going to hit Save. It will ask me if I want to overwrite it. I will. I'll exit out of the project. And then in Ableton, it will repopulate with the noise reduced audio. All right, so there it is. <laughs> with a little bit less noise than it had before. All right, so just so you know, there are there is software out there uh, such as Isotope RX, or um, in my case, my favorite to use is Adobe Audition for removing noise that are, have a lot more options and can get a lot more uh, accurate results. But in this case, most of the time, if you're removing noise from speech or environmental recordings like with the bird, you can use Audacity. And remember, Audacity is totally free. There's really no reason for you not to have an audio editor. There are so many useful functions for that in, in terms of cutting the edges of clips off, managing really long audio files, so on and so forth. So awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please consider like, commenting, or subscribing. Uh, much love, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.